Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we are here inside of Sonic Speed. Well, we're not in Sonic Speed Simulator right now, but we are here in the how to make a speed simulator type game in Roblox over here, like Sonic Speed Simulator right now. It's been a little while since I have made a video on this um, tutorial series over here. However guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and make the hoops which you jump through in order to go ahead and get XP, which is going to be awesome. But before I start anything off over here and show you guys exactly how you can go ahead and do this, I first need to go ahead and tell you a little bit about um rbrlaxcodes.com which is my own roblox code website where you can find out game codes music codes and guides there is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out overall we cover codes for over 300 roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there and if you guys are guests, let's just go ahead and go on into this video now. So guys, how exactly can you go ahead and make this? Well, first things first, what we are going to want to go ahead and do right now is actually make a hoop which we can jump through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a part over here. I'm going to scale this up um, and just do a little bit like that over here, guys. Yeah, there we go. It's fine. I'm going to squish it down a little bit, guys. There we go. I think that's a reasonable size you can maybe put it a bit further down and then i'm going to just increase the transparency by a little bit over here guys there we go maybe make it a nice little like a red color or something like that guys yeah i think i'll be fine over here and um, maybe decrease the transparency a little bit more um yeah i think that's okay guys maybe not uh harsh red maybe yeah something like that is a lot better guys but yeah that's pretty much going to be our hoop which we jump through guys um of course you could make this a lot better by um well you could of course get something off the toolbox but you could make like a union with it and make an outside border as well you can customize this however you guys want but this is not a building tutorial so yeah that's the reason why i'm not showing you guys how to make this look really really nice okay next what we're gonna do in our tag editor i've shown you guys how to use this earlier on in the series we're gonna add a new tag called hoop um hoops just over there guys yeah and what we're gonna do we're gonna attach this to the hoops tag right now so we're gonna click on this to take it and now our thing is attached to the hoops tag so what we're gonna do next we are gonna call this hoop the amount of xp it's gonna go ahead and give us so guys put the name as whatever amount of xp this hoop's gonna give you guys i'm just gonna say the hoop this hoop's gonna give us 100 xp okay guys next what we want to do here is actually add um in ourselves a little um where is it guys service gui gui over here and we're just going to simply name this well you know no yeah you know what yes but we'll name this one back and pretty much guys just put this face i think you'll have to change it to like left or right or something like that guys but first things first we need something in it so i'm just going to test test text label so you guys right okay it doesn't really matter if, like what way you put them you could say this one's the front this one's the back it doesn't matter what you call guys call these it's not really um, use, useful in any way guys anyway next what i'm gonna go in and do right now we are gonna um, make the anchor point of this text label 0 0.5 0 0.5 i can actually if i can actually type properly for 0 0.5 0 0.5 there we go guys and then what i'm gonna go ahead and do over here is put the position at um 0 0.5 skill for the x and then of course 0 0.5 for the y this is going to put this directly in the center next guys for our size i'm just going to put this 0 0.5 um and then of course 0 0.5 again guys here we go 0.5 and then zero over there we go guys okay so we've got a nice little square in the middle right now and then after that what i'm going to do over here i'm going to put background transparency slide it all the way over to one i'm going to put our front as source sounds bold i'm gonna um put text skilled i'm gonna also turn on rich text over here guys and i'm gonna put this um the text here plus 100 sorry guys that's nowhere near plus 100 plus 100 xp something like this guys which will just tell the player how much xp this is going to go in and give them and i'm just going to put this to white because i think it looks a little bit better i know guys if you really wanted to you could add a ui stroke um and then add a stroke to this guys i don't know why it doesn't work with this um but yeah you could just add a little stroke here by sliding down the transparency of that so there's a lot about black border but however guys the problem is because this is a service gui it will not appear on the other side so we need to duplicate this over here guys so control com c control v all you guys can do control d um and i'm just gonna name this back um sorry guys i'm gonna name this front just a little bit easier over there guys and then what i'm gonna go in and do instead of making the face the left i'm gonna change the face to the right over here guys wait where's the right there it is there we go so we've got 100 on the front and 100 on the back which is pretty cool okay now that we have this one, one second, guys, I think there was a massive spider 
right by my foot one second right okay you know what i'm ignoring it right <laughs> we gotta commit to the video okay pretty much guys so we got that bit right now um i don't know why i'm doing this right now I, i'm i'm uh, yeah right okay guys anyway pretty much so um front and back we got that over here what we're gonna do next we're gonna add a cooldown over here guys so i'm gonna add it in value right now and i'm gonna simply call this cooldown um and name this the amount of seconds the player will have to wait before they can actually run into the hoop again and claim it up and for the tutorial sake i'm just gonna put it 10 so it's a reasonable amount to not too not too um long not too short you know guys i'm gonna put it at five for the tutorial and you guys can change this depending on the different um hoops that you guys have so let's say i want to make a plus 500 xp hoop over here guys i'm gonna of course change the name to 500 right now guys on this one i'm gonna also um change the text label to plus 500 over here and then plus 500 right now guys and let's say i want to add a bit of a longer cooldown to this one i could of course increase the cooldown to 10 or whatever you guys want to and let me also just change this a little bit over here guys yeah that's a bit nicer to see okay guys so we got these two right now i'm going to show you guys um how this is gonna work um especially well so you guys can have different hoop values and it'll all work under one script so guys add a new script over here and what we are going to go ahead and do right now is kind of do the same thing as the other ones so guys we are going to um copy this line over here so we want to get the collection service thing over here right now guys so there we go then we're going to do local tagged um hoop is equal to the collection service um it's going to be collection service get tagged uh get tagged and then we're of course gonna do hoop or whatever you guys called it okay guys what what we're gonna do next is this over here guys so what we want to pretty much do yeah i forgot about this so just simply copy and paste that player's line in over here but guys we want to copy our debounce from our script before over here just gonna make it a little bit easier so put in this debounce right now guys there we go and what we're gonna do this time um is pretty much this right now okay so um what we are gonna go ahead and do after that guys is just do um right you know no i'm just gonna do it type it out so for underscore comma tag in pairs and then we're gonna do tag hoops um wait one second yeah yeah there we go do i am just freestyling this right now guys i I kind of made it for an individual one over here guys and it's been a little while since i've used the tag the tag ed editor plugin okay guys right next we're gonna do tagged dot touched um connect and then debounce and then function after that guys we are gonna go ahead and put hit in there right next enter that down and then we're gonna do um if hit dot parent um and then find first child humanoid then i probably should have just copied and pasted this in but who cares we've done it now okay guys what we're gonna do next is this over here so what i'm gonna do is um yeah right okay we're gonna do local hoop no sorry so our tag is the hoop isn't it guys okay so we're gonna do um we're gonna get the like the text variables and that so local cooldown is gonna be equal to the tagged wait for child and then cooldown if i can actually type right bit did we put it with a capital c no we didn't so cool and then down and then i'm just gonna do dot value over there guys so we get the value of the cooldown and then of course we're gonna get the front and back text so local front um text is gonna be equal to tagged wait for child and then we're gonna do front and then we're just gonna do dot text label um that's text label text label um over there guys and then we can just copy and paste this for the back as well so local back text um there we go guys and then back. okay so we got this right now now we can get on into coding and all sorts of stuff well we already are coding guys sorry it's absolutely boiling right now for me and when it's hot like this i can barely spring spray okay so pretty much we got this boat right now what we are gonna go ahead and do next is this so local player is gonna be sorry guys no we need to do local character it's gonna be equal to the hit dot parent then after that guys we're gonna do local player it's equal to players get player for child get player 
on the character. Um, there we go, guys. And then we're going to put the character in here. That's going to give us the player. After that, guys, we're going to do if player. Um, then, so if you actually find the player, then what we're going to do is this. So we're going to do player dot xp dot value is going to be equal to of course that player dot xp dot value plus um tagged dot name the reason why we named these the amount of xp they give is so we can easily put in the name and um, easily find out the amount that they give us just by doing tag dot name over here so guys we got that bit right now which is pretty nice so tag dot name there we go um so next what we're going to do after it after is do local num is going to be equal to zero and that's going to help us keep track of how many times we loop through this script over here so what we're going to do right now is this so while num is less than cooldown do so this is how we're going to go and do a cooldown which is going to stop the player actually collecting them up like 10 times a second and abuse them guys so pretty much yeah what we're going to do is do a cooldown with a number countdown which goes like 10 9 8 7 if you guys get what i mean over there so let's go back over here and also i'm just going to call this script um hoop collection um something like that guys okay so now we've done that what i'm going to do is do this so local display num is going to be equal to the cooldown minus the number because it's going to be counting down guys not counting up so that's just going to allow us to do that a bit easier then we're going to do um front text dot text is equal to display num then same for the back text so back text dot text is equal to display um num after that guys we're going to do num is equal to num plus one in this case guys num is just short for number um right this is terrible for me why can i not type I wish I had aircon, guys. Okay, anyway, next we're going to wait for one second, guys, because, of course, we want this countdown to be in seconds. So, every second is going to go down by one. After that, guys, what we're going to do is this. So, we're going to do num is equal to zero, so we can actually run through this again. Then, um, what we're going to do is do this. So, back text dot text is going to be equal to plus and then dot dot tag dot name um, and then dot dot space xp and then guys we're gonna do the same thing for the front text over here right now guys so front text over here there we go okay this should all be working right now let's try it out let's see if it is working over here um okay so let's go ahead and run on into these and try and collect them right now so 101 you should see our xp go up by 100 here at the top there we go guys it's counting down this one should go up by 500 and i forgot a vital thing ba went up by 500 over there okay so that one counted down can we claim it up again yes guys we can and that's now going down and as you can see we cannot claim these while the countdown is going on this one we can claim it up again and there you go guys that's how you can go to make these hoops over here one final thing though i forgot to show you guys um some most important stuff so we want to make these anchored of course but also guys i recommend turning off can collide because you don't really want a hoop that's just going to block the player from going through it guys so you can turn off can collide so we can actually walk through our hoop over here guys which is just going to make it a lot easier and that's how you guys can go in and make the hoops of course we will be later on later on in this series over here making like jump and um, ramps and pads and all sorts of stuff guys which is going to allow you to put these hoops far off in the sky for people to like jump on into them and all sorts of stuff guys which is going to be quite exciting and of course guys if you did have any issues in this video today with your scripts you can download this, download this exact roblox studio file on my patreon and also for channel members too so make sure you guys go in and check that out but that's going to be it for this video here i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out